Hey, what's going on guys? It's Subdizer here with a new video of Clash of Clans from Let's Attack series. Finally guys, I got the Valkyries and I'm very excited for them so I'm going to share a new strategy with you guys with using the Valkyries. And hopefully I'm going to get the Golems soon as well. I only need about 700,000 of Elixirs since they are only 2 million and 250,000 of Elixirs. Okay guys, in this strategy I'm going to use one picker. 14 giants, 13 wizards, 7 valkyries, and 2 archers. If you have, if your total, ar if your total army camp capacity is 205, I recommend you using these kind of troops in the same amount. Okay, so we are going for our first raid to find a good base to attack that has a good amount of resources. So first, I'm going to find a base. So guys, I really like the valkyries because. The Valkyrie is very strong troop, they like rest around and do like rotate while hitting a building so they are very powerful. Although I only use 7 in my in my army camp or with my troops but they really do something so I highly recommend if you don't get the Valkyries try to get them first. And if you guys didn't notice I'm now upgrading my minions to level 2 so yeah, hopefully I'll get them I'll get them to the second level since I feel like I'm not leveling my dark troops so I'll start leveling them. Okay, so this base seems good. Yeah, and I think I'm going for it since it has a good amount of resources. 160,000 of gold, 900 I mean 99,000 of elixirs, 1000 of dark elixir. Okay, so I normally drop well randomly well i drop from the beginning till the till the end i drop at the first archers since they are out of range and there are only two so i drop them as close as i can to the clan castle if there are if there are some troops but uh, as you can see i couldn't reach to the clan castle so i was lucky also my my clan donated me dragon so yeah in this case i have dragon but and dragon really is powerful so I was lucky in this case and I don't think we are going to get the full, the three stars but we are going to get the three the we are going to get at least a star and we got all of the, the almost every resource we got all of the golds and the elixirs also the dark elixir so yeah that's what matters till now and we're going to get a good amount of uh, trophies so yeah, I got 48% at one star and we got good amount of resources. Okay, now we're going to the next uh, to the next base to attack. This base seems easy because the design is like a square and also it's like two to three layers that can go in the middle to get the resources. So I'm going to and so now in this this time I dropped a few of the giants, then few of wizards, then again giants. After I dropped all of my Valkyries, then the Pekka, then the rest of the wizards. So it really doesn't matter, but I like to drop them together because it's like dropping them together. I can then use the spells, uh, and they all like the spell does affect and also they all have this the rage spell or healing spell. So that's why I like dropping them all together. So yeah, this basically is how I use my strategy. How I use this kind of strategy. Well, I don't know why I use. I don't know why did I choose these troops in my army camp. Like using them with the Valkyries is just because maybe I really like using wizards and giants together. Also, pickers are very powerful. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, Pekka's are powerful, so I used only one since it take a lot of uh, since it take a lot of place, and the archers is just like to fill out my army camp. So yeah, this base hopefully we are getting the three stars because only three, four defenders left. And look at the Valkyrie how it normally hits. I like her skills; it's really amazing. So okay, never mind so only just a few of the defenders left and we are going hopefully to get three stars in this base and this base as i said it, it was an easy base to attack okay so yeah that's basically how to use the the strategy of using valkyries hopefully in my next 
uh, in my next time of raiding, maybe I'll try it by myself. Like to max, to use max Valkyries if it's really powerful. Or maybe I can share it with you guys in my next episode. Like all Valkyries attack. And yeah, that would be fun. Okay, so now just the two of the builder huts left. And we're good to go with this base. So yeah. And guys, you're well, you're very welcome to join my clan. It's Obadizer1995 as well as my task force in Boom Beach. Well, my clan has now eight members. Unfortunately, one of my clan co-leaders, one of my clan co-leader kicked everybody. I will not mention the name. So I'm sorry for that, guys, if you were in the clan and you were kicked. So you are very welcome to come in the clan back again or just tell me in the comment down below if you were kicked and I will just invite you to the clan. Okay, so we are going back home and that's it for this episode on how to use Valkyries. I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe for more Clash of Clans video and from Let's Attack series or Let's Play series. Before leaving guys, I just want to remove my Christmas tree. So I saw my, my, Christmas, my Christmas tree appeared like a week ago. So I just uh, click on the gift and I didn't know that will just disappear. So I will now remove my, my Xmas tree. So I know that it, I heard that it gives 75,000 of uh, gold. So yeah, and that's why I want to, re to remove it with you guys. So, well, I normally don't want to remove it, it's just like I said that, but I like to remove every like wood or trees in my base, so I just removed it, and it will give me 75,000 of gold. Thank you guys for watching again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, goodbye, and see you later.